Hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime and we've been asked to solve an equation. Now just to let you know this particular equation that we're looking at, there's actually two ways to start it that are totally legit and they'll lead to the same answer. So I'm going to do it the first way using just the very basics of algebra. Um, that idea that I can un do math when I have an equation as long as I do it to both sides. I can solve. I can isolate the letter, get him alone by getting rid of the math I see. So that's the first way I'm going to solve it. And then I will take the time to solve it the second way uh, for those of you who are used to it that way. So um, keep watching if you don't like my first way. Okay, so here we go. Um, I want to get R alone. That is my goal. And as you can see, R is not currently alone. I have two things going on. I have this number negative 5 here, which you can see that negative 5 is shoved up against the parentheses, multiplying with this entire group, the R group. I also have the number 11. Um, so negative 5, we said was multiplying a group. Now obviously 11 is doing what with R? You can see this plus between them, so the 11 is adding with R, and I promise there's a reason why I'm talking about this, uh, but you can see that it's inside the R group adding. See how it's inside the parentheses? Well, we said that um, when you are solving, you are supposed to work the order of operations backwards. So I'll just remind you the order of operations is groupings exponents, multiplication and its inverse, and addition and its inverse. We're supposed to work it backwards, which would mean that we are supposed to save our groups for last. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this negative 5 that's outside of the group first. And so you might say, well, how can I get rid of him? Should I add him? No way. Remember, we're supposed to do the opposite of what they're doing. What is that negative 5 doing with the R group? Well, we said it's multiplying, so I will divide. Okay, now I can do whatever I want when I solve as long as I do it to both sides. So if I divide this side by negative 5 as well, I'm balanced and I'm okay. Now let's see what our new equation will be. Well, multiplying and dividing by negative 5 are opposites. They cancel. And now all I have is this r plus 11 group. And you might be wondering, well, what happened to her parentheses? Well, if it's the only thing there, I don't need any signals telling me to group it anymore. And so it just says r plus 11. And then 25 divided by negative 5 is, of course, negative 5. Okay, now we're almost done. This sucker's almost solved, but R is not totally alone on his side of the equal sign. There's still a plus 11 hanging out, so I will do the opposite. I will subtract 11 from both sides. And, of course, we can do whatever we want as long as we do it to both sides. And on this side, adding and subtracting 11 uh, cancels, so all I'm left with, with is R, and negative 5 minus 11 gives me negative 16. So I get r is equal to negative 16, and the only thing I did there was knowing how to do the opposite, how to solve. Okay, now I promised you guys I'd show it to you another way. So let me go ahead and get rid of this and look at how a lot of teachers would do this. Um, if you already know how to simplify algebraic expressions, that is, do the forwards math, you can actually simplify before you start solving. So some students would have, instead of what I did, get rid of this negative 5, they would have done the implied math here. They would have done the multiplication. So let's try it that way. Now remember, multiplication passes out over parentheses, so negative 5 times r is, of course, negative 5r. And negative 5 times positive 11, you might think, why is she reading it as positive 11 when that's a plus 11? Well, right now I'm multiplying, so negative 5 times, I'm going to read it as a positive 11 when I'm multiplying. And I get negative 55. And of course, that's still equal to this right-hand side, 25. Now if I had done it this way, now it would be time to start solving. There's no other simplifying I can do. So again, when solving, I follow the order of operations backwards. So I should get rid of anything adding or subtracting first. So I'll add 55 to both sides. Subtracting 55 and adding 55 are opposites. They cancel. I get negative 5r. And then on that side, uh, let's see, 25 plus 55 is 80. Almost done, but r is not alone. Uh, in order to get away this negative 5 multiplier, I should divide. Again, whatever I do on one side, I do to the other. And a lot of students right now are going, this doesn't look the same at all. How could it give you the same answer? Well, check it out. Negative 5 uh, multiplying and negative 5 dividing are opposites. They cancel. I'm left with just r. And on this side, 18 divided by negative 5, negative 16. 
So it really doesn't matter if you uh, just get rid of all the math, you just solve it, or instead you simplify before you start solving, you still get r is equal to negative 16. All right, if you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them.